The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. I invite you to be in an attitude and spirit of prayer. God of all, we stand before you in awe of your creating work from the farms to the forests, from the lakes to the cities. We thank you for the privilege of serving the hardworking people of this state. The challenges that lie before us are humbling. Help us to leave behind the things that can hold us captive and give us a vision of what we can do and what we can be that is so clear and compelling that we can come together and positively impact the quality of life in our state. Open our hearts and minds to both emerging realities and possibilities. Give us wisdom and guidance that we may someday be remembered for having faithfully and courageously served to lay foundations for peace, prosperity, and the well-being of all. Amen. The chaplain for today is the Reverend Carl Nielsen, Arlington Hills United Methodist Church, St. Paul, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance, please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag. The clerk will take the roll. The clerk will close the roll. A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 88th session, 2013, 10th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Wednesday, February 6, 2013. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with, uh, and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Reports of standing committees. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there is no objection to the reports, they'll be adopted. Hearing no objection, the reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Second reading, House File 90. Second reading. Second reading, House File 141. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following bills have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House Files and give them their first reading. Introduction and first reading of House Files 433 through, uh, 407 through 433. First reading, House Files 407 to 433. Messages from the Senate. Message from the Senate. Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate file herewith transmitted. Senate file 58. Signed, Joanne M. Zoff, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of Senate files. Introduction and first reading of Senate file 58, an act relating to state government, ratifying labor agreements and compensation plans. The, the bill has been referred to the Committee on Ways and Means. Report from the Committee on Rules and Legislative Administration. 
Report from the Committee on Rules and Legislative Administration, Murphy E. Mo uh, for the Committee on Rules, pursuant to Rule 121, designates the following bill to be placed on the calendar day for Monday, February 11, 2013. House File 9. Calendar for the day. Representative Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move that the calendar for the day be continued. Representative Murphy moves that the calendar for the day be continued. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. All opposed, no. Motion prevails. Representative Clark, for what purpose do you rise? Point of personal privilege, Mr. Speaker, to introduce a special guest. State your point of personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I'd like to introduce to you a member of the Somali uh, Parliament who's with us today, uh, Mr. Hussein Arab Issa. Oh, if you would stand. And let me just tell you a little bit about Mr. Issa. He is a former Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister of the last Somali transitional government, and as such, he's one of the people who helped complete the roadmap to democratic government in Somalia. They created the first constitution in Somalia for 43 years. In 43 years, they elected the parliament, uh, the speaker of the parliament, and the new president, Hassan Sher Mohamud, and new cabinet members. So uh, in doing that, the other thing they did is to drive out al-Shabaab and, and al-Qaeda out of most of Somalia. So I'd like to present uh, two members, prime minister, I mean the parliament, now parliamentary member from uh, Somalia, Hussein Arab Issa, and I ask you to welcome him here to our floor. Motions and resolutions. There are copies of the non-controversial motions at the House desk and online. If there is no objection, uh, we'll take action on those motions first. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail. Representative Doubt, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Point of parliamentary inquiry. Uh, state your point of parliamentary in inquiry. Uh, yes, Mr. Speaker. Under, under the joint rules, uh, Article 2, Rule 2.03, uh, states that all bills necessary to implement the governor's budget submitted by a state agency or department must be made available for introduction within 15 calendar days of the governor's budget submittal. Uh, my, my question is, have those bills been received? The uh, 15th day was yesterday. Are we in possession of those bills? Uh, Representative Doubt, we are in possession of some of them and not the rest of them. Uh, Mr. Speaker? Representative Doubt. Uh, can you tell us which ones we are in possession of and which ones we are not? Uh, my understanding is that we, we are in possession of the Ag uh, Finance Bill and the Higher Ed Finance Bill. And those, those are the only ones? That's my understanding, Representative Doubt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there is a motion at the desk. The clerk will report the motion. Poppy moves that House File uh, 251, now on the General Register, be re-referred to the Committee on Ways and Means. Representative Poppy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Um, this is the uh, re removing the sunset or, or setting out the sunset for a few years out for a bill that is the Farmer Lender Mediation Act bill. And um, based on some testimony and some other uh, recognition about the bill and the, the value of the bill, we need to um, now go to Ways and Means. Any discussion? Representative Hamilton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I just encourage members to support this motion. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Motion prevails. Representative Fritz, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I, I rise for a point of personal privilege. State your point of personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, members, 49 years ago tomorrow, I married my best friend, and we're still best friends, Jim. And Jim is here with me today on the House floor to invite you to celebrate with us in the retiring room after we're through here for some cake. Thank you. Announcements. Representative Ward. Thank you, Representative Garofalo. Thank you, members. 
Um, I rise for a point of personal privilege. Mr. State your point of personal privilege. Mr. Madam, Ms., uh, Mr. Speaker, point of personal privilege. Members, uh, like Representative Fritz, you know, we spend a lot of time down here, and so we, we uh, miss a lot of family things. We miss a lot of special days in our lives because we're serving, right? Because we're serving and representing and proud to do that. But like Representative Fritz, who uh, is, is a very special day for her, it's my wife's 60th birthday today. And, and she's not here, but my daughter is here in her place. Uh, so um, if you see my wife, uh, and she told me she would uh, not be happy if I mentioned the, the number that I said. So just wish her happy birthday, please. Uh, and I thank Patty Fritz. I called my wife and said, the Fritz has bought you a birthday cake today. So I, I thank her for that. So thank you, members. I uh, wish my wife a happy birthday when you see her happy 60th birthday. Representative Carlson. Uh, Mr. Speaker, members, um, the Ways and Means Committee is going to meet an hour earlier Monday than our usual uh, time, so we will convene at 9 a.m. I just want everybody to be aware of that in room 200. Representative Poppy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members, and I just want to introduce somebody as well. Um, we have an FFA member, Brandon Reuger, who's on the floor with us today, and he gave a presentation uh, uh, to the Ag Policy Committee today, um, probably stirred some emotions and made us think a little bit about ag literacy so that we know a little bit more about the importance of agriculture in our state. And so I appreciate that he came from Sleepy Eye today to do that presentation. Representative Doubt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we were anticipating uh, doing House File Number 6 today on the floor of the Tax Conformity Bill. I'm wondering if uh, the Majority Leader would give us an indication of when we might uh, expect that and what that roadmap looks like going forward. Representative Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Representative Doubt. I would anticipate that we will take up House File 6 very early next week, as early as Monday. Representative Davids. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the Majority Leader. This is what I, I was very, I'm very concerned about this. This has to be done now. This bill has to be done now. That's why a couple weeks ago I stood up in this floor and tried to declare an emergency. We are really sticking it to a lot of our taxpayers if we don't get this passed. We need to get this passed now. So I hope when you say next week, I hope it's Monday the first thing because we are really going to hurt a lot of taxpayers if we don't get this thing passed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, we also have a recently former member with us here today. Representative Maury Landing is in the back of the, uh, in the, back of the chamber. <laughs> Other announcements? Representative Murphy. Mr. Speaker and members, I move that when the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 3 p.m. Monday, February 11, 2013. Representative Murphy moves that when the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 3 p.m. Monday, February 11, 2013. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Motion prevails. Representative Murphy. I move that the House do now adjourn. Representative Murphy moves that the House do now adjourn. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. The motion prevails and the House stands adjourns until 3 p.m. Monday, February 11, 2013.